You're also doing the Sad Summer Yes. Mm -hmm. I went to your live show last time. Thank you. Here in LA. That's oh yeah, I looked at our text and you had sent me uh, like some film pictures from it. I was like, hell yeah, these look it, sick. Your live show is insane. Yeah. You put you. a lot of effort into it. Dude, so much. Actually, as soon as I leave here, I'm going over to uh, our guy John's house. He does like a lot of our pictures and videos and stuff. And we're gonna like film some stuff for the show. You Ooh. know what I mean? Yeah. What's a rehearsal like for you guys? We decide on the set and everybody kind of practices individually, kind of hopefully gets their shit together before we all meet up. And then we meet up for like five days, maybe two, like five to seven days and just work on like transitions and keeping everything very tight or like if we're extending parts, or, you know what I mean? Like we, so yeah, everybody kind of works individually. My training is just playing tennis and stay making really? sure, making sure I'm not going to run out of breath and shit. But um, um, but yeah, everybody kind of like works outside of it. Then we hopefully, and then we get together, and yeah, just like smooth everything out. It's 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 interesting because you know I've talked to people who are like, oh yeah, we were so rusty when we got back together or whatever. You know, um, it's never really bad. Like I think. The worst will ever sound is when we're playing a new song for the very first time. Live. I mean, together, like in a rehearsal space. And after, I mean, sometimes it's fine, but there have definitely been times where we're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, should we just never play that one? It's so bad. And then we hit it like five more times. And we're like, okay. Are there any of your songs that you expect them to be bangers live, but you're like, this just doesn't sound it? Yeah. Um, but see, every time I talk about a song not going off live, mm -hmm. I'm more so referencing crowd and crowd energy. Okay. Because if the crowd's not going off, even if we fucking kill it, I can hit every note. We can be super tight and like, you know, every, everybody comes in perfectly. Like everybody's like very like, you know, in sync. Um, if the crowd's not in it and like crowd surfing and fucking like, if I don't see a pit or all this stuff, I'm like, fuck that song. Funeral Grey just had the all time highest streams for you guys. Yeah. Insane. Yeah, like, um, I looked at, right, like, the label sent me, uh, they were able to get the numbers, basically, of what every single on the last album did, like, first day. And the highest one, like, as far as 24 hours goes, was Low Key As Hell. And Funeral Grey beat that by double. Wow. I was like, I was like, just on Spotify. Yeah. I was like, fuck. I was like, okay. Yeah, great. This is good. <laughs> do you even care about album sales now? I do, um, and I'll tell you why. Okay. There's a couple reasons. One, I used to pay attention to everybody's. I Me used, too. I used to know everybody's. I, I'd look them up. You know what I mean? Especially like, when there's a battle of two different genres. Yeah. Oh, Who's going to come out on top? I used to pay attention to like Fall Out Boy sales. Like All just time every, low. Yeah, everybody. And um, so... For those kind of reasons, and granted, the landscape changes every fucking cycle. It's so frustrating. Mm -hmm. I had a Taking Back Sunday plaque, Where You yeah. Want to Be. Oh, shit. That was the coolest. That's fucking tight. I used to listen to that album under the bleachers. What else did you listen to? A lot of Taking Back Sunday. They were my favorite for a long time. My Chem, obviously. Blink? Oh, of course. Blink, uh, Good Charlotte, Good Charlotte Green Day. Um, Green, so Green Day, like Dookie was my first CD. Like the really? first physical. Mine and was Chumba Wamba. Cause it had the pink baby's face on it. I so like when it. I, I was walking off circuit city, I'm like, boom. And I told like my that. dad, I need it. He's like, yeah. do you know them? No, <laughs> <laughs> that's so sick. I used to do that too. I used to like buy stuff for the album art. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. I think system of a down had do not steal this CD or no, steal this Oh, steal, steal, this, steal CD. this album. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I thought it was the coolest art. That was, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, same with like the Jesus art. Same. It's like a meta take on it. It was just like a clear CD with like orange tape like, yes. right there on it. I was just like, oh, cool. <laughs> Yeah. How'd you get into it all? Music? Yeah, like that scene. Some 41. And you saw the music videos? I heard Fat Lip on the radio in my dad's Honda Civic. And uh, I was just like, what is this? And he was like, I don't know. And then- and <laughs> well, then I turned it off. He was like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> um, and then uh, uh, it was on, we would watch like MTV or VH1 getting ready in the morning, like for school, it would just be on. And they started playing and I was just like, I fucking, this is like very fast and like, mm, it's like, I don't want to waste my time. And I'm like, this is amazing. Um, and that kind of like opened the thing for me. And then I started watching like, I'm about to, you know, be aged really quick. But I used to watch like my chem videos on like AOL video. You know what I mean? Like, did you ever watch music videos on AOL video? No. Okay. So just tons of stuff on there. I mean, that just kind of like 
open the gate. You know, actually, one of my friends is like, we should make a band. I'm like, none of us play anything. Yeah. And he's like, you be guitar. And I'm like, did oh. you take pictures like, before you guys even knew how to do anything? Of course. So did I. Yeah, absolutely. That's so funny. Yeah. Like on a, a little camera. Yeah. Like, and we you were my out the card. We were MySpace. Expect the unexpected. Ooh. No one could play anything. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> that is unexpected. Yeah, like a band and nobody knows an instrument. Yeah, come if to I, our show. If I yeah, if I found a band and none of them could do anything and there were no songs, <laughs> I'd be curious about that show. There was so much hype. <laughs> Like, what are they going to do? Everything is worth more unreleased. It's just true. Yeah, come see yeah. us. We don't know what we're doing either. <laughs> I want to watch someone figure it out live. Yes. Yeah. I remember MTV would have the tour diaries of yeah. Green Day and Blink. Mm -hmm. I would tape them on my VHS and just rewatch them. That's hard. And those were the days. Mm -hmm. What was the craziest thing that happened with your clothing line? The last drop that I did, it was fucking crazy. So... They guessed the password the night before. Shut up. Not even kidding. They guessed the password. I mean, granted, it wasn't an amazing password, but they- Austin. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, but but they got in. One of them, like one of the things sold at like 9 p.m. the night before. And I was like, huh. Yeah, I, saw, I got the notification. I was like, I guess someone got in. Cool. There's a leak. Yeah. And then around like 9.45, like two more happened. And I was just like, I was like, all right. <laughs> And then by like 1230 that night, I think like 150 of them have sold. And I was like, oh, fuck. And when I woke up, they were bait. Like, I think there was like 30 left. Yeah. That went out to the email list and sold out before I could even post it. And so I was like, and everybody was like, what the fuck? And I was like, all right, fine. I'm gonna do one more drop just real quick. Go. And then that one sold out too. And I was just like, okay. You know what I mean? Cause like that to me, high def is more about making something rare. Like I want to make something limited and like rare where you know like water parks merch or if we, when, we, when we sell 5,000 shirts to hot topic I want all of those to go you know what I mean it's very like do as many as you can but with high def I'm just like like if I make like this dope ass fuzzy blue jacket and it says like high def on the back but like in zippers you know it's something like that doesn't exist yet and I got to like make something like I got to like use creativity in a different way and make something like this and then keep it limited I'm like this is something rare and when people see it they're gonna be like oh fuck like I have one of 300 in the world of these and like you know, people like see each other like at shows or like at like like in stores or whatever wearing them or like actually Lucas was just out or, or TM he was out on another tour and saw a couple high def shirts on the uh, Beartooth tour and I was just like oh that's fucking tight you that's know what sick. I mean because you know that they're not everywhere and it's just like an exciting thing because when you do a when you do one thing for so long, like a band, for example, like we've been doing water parks for like 10 years now and people just didn't know about us for the first five. When you do something for so long, you kind of feel like like you get it. You're like, like, I feel like I understand water parks to such a degree that I never let it go on autopilot, but I, I understand what to do now. I understand, like, make the demos, do this. You know, like talk to so and so, get ready for the tour, promote the tour, design the stage, you know, whatever, whatever. It's, it's amazing. But sometimes it's just so interesting to step into a new field that you don't understand because then you just get to keep learning. 